In this video, we will continue with trigonometric functions. You will find this on page 176 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. Without using a calculator, find the exact value of each of the following. Now, if you look at these examples, you will understand why we were writing um, it always in terms of the acute angle, because then we can use the special angles. Okay, so a sketch will help you to identify the quadrant and the angle to the x-axis. So if I look at this, it's this, so that beta will be 30. I know it's in this quadrant and cos is in this quadrant negative. And this is now exactly why I was doing the previous videos. And now, so there I wrote it down, and now I can just work with that 30. So I just take that, um, it's cos, so it's adjacent over hypotenuse, and that negative is just in front. And this is the exact one, without using a calculator. Okay, in this one, uh, now this is a little bit more than 180, so there is my beta angle. Again, I write it like that, but what is tan in this one? Think of your cos diagram. Tan is in that one positive, and that's why it's positive tan 45. I use this sketch, and it's 1. And then the last one, now I go to radians. So sin, so it's 1 and 2 thirds. Now, remember, that's, that's going to be 1 pi. So 1 and 2 thirds. Okay, so be careful that you don't do it in this one, but that you see that it's in this one. Because, uh, let me say this is going to be, it's, it's almost like saying is one and a half, is that bigger, or is one and two thirds bigger? Okay, because this is one and a half pi, but one and a half is smaller, that's one and two thirds, that's why it's past that point. And this is my angle beta. And then I, I do it exactly the same, but now I know that sin is what in that quadrant? Negative. And I get that third. And now I still use, um, this is going to be a third pi, so pi over 3, remember that's the 60, so, and it's sin, so it's opposite over adjacent. You see, that is actually exactly the same. Okay, so now I'm starting to use the previous videos. Mm. I want you to stop, and this is, this is typical, what you will do in further studies when they say in calculus 1, when they say don't use a calculator that you just work with the familiar angles, at the special angles. Okay, let's do this one. Let's do this one, and then we can maybe take a radiant also, more than one, it's always good. So if we take this one, two-thirds, I think that one will be a nice one, and then maybe this one. Okay, stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, I'm going to use the sketches, but it's always very easy, and maybe I will just remind you how to draw your own sketch. Let's start with number A. So, it's cos 240. Now, as I said to you, I just like referring you to a sketch. It's not necessary that you do that. It's just seeing where is 240. This 90, 180, that's 270. So, 240 will be there. Okay, and that angle I'm interested in. So, it's almost like to say, and this is just my help, 240 minus 180, and that will be 60. So if I'm writing this one, I can write it as cos 180 plus 60 to get that 240. Now, I think of my cos diagram. What is cos in this quadrant? It's negative. So it's negative cos 60 degrees. Okay, now I can work. And, and as, as I said, I just want to remind you the special. Uh, remember, it's an equilateral triangle. If you struggle, then it's 2, 2. Now, but be, this is also 2, but because it's divided, it, this is 1, 1. Then it will be 2. There's my 90. Because it's equilateral, this will be 60. But that is divided, so that's 30. I work this one out with Pythagoras' theorem. So 2 squared minus 1 squared underneath the square, square root. So it's actually like this. And that will be, give me 4 minus 1 so square root. I, I just showed you because in the exams, you can just work from the pictures and it helps you. So now you can just go 
and say it's negative. And now in the place of cos 60, this 60 cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. And my answer will be negative for half. And that's the exact. And, and if you can even go in to test it. I'm just going to test it cos. Oh, I'm in radians. No, okay. Cos 60. Cos 240. Okay, if you press this on your calculator, cos 240, then you will see it's exactly the same. But don't do it with the calculator, it's just to compare. Okay, let's do number C. Every time I'm going to make space, um, I'm just going to leave my triangle there uh, for this one. Oh, okay, let's just make, okay, let's undo that. Let's take just a rubber that's a bit smaller. Then we can use the graph also again. Okay, number C. So I'm going to say sin. 150 degrees. Now, where is sin 150? There is 180, so 150 is there. If I go to this x-axis, it's going to be 30, because it's 180 minus 150, 30. So how do I write it? I write sin, and I write 180, always in this quadrant, I say 180 minus, this is 180 plus, this is 360 minus. That you can even memorize. Okay, so minus that 30. And now, now I look. What is sin in this quadrant? Oh, sin is positive. Excellent. So it's positive sin 30 degrees. And now I say, what is sin? There is sin 30. So sin is opposite over hypotenuse. So my answer will be a half. And again... This is just for testing. Uh, don't use a calculator. Sin 150. And what do you see? Also 0 0.5, which is a half. Now let's go to the radians. Okay, again I'm going to make space. I'm in radians now. Let's make space. Let's not... Uh, I, I can keep my cost. That stays the same. Maybe make a bit of space here also in, on top. And this is my cost. Okay, let's just make it a bit bigger that we don't struggle so much to clean. Okay. Let's start. This is number F. And now, number F. Okay, let's write it down. So it's cos 2 pi. Oh, that was not the 2. I could have just write the 2 in front. 2 pi. Now sometimes just be careful. Remember, remember that's 1 pi. So if it's 2 thirds, that's a half pi. So 2 thirds is again a little bit more than a half. So it's again there. Okay. Now I must find this. So I can just say 1 pi minus 2 thirds pi. You can even leave out the pi's. And that's a third. I, I'm just interested in this one. So I'm going to write now, I'm going to write cos, and remember this is this quadrant. Now in this quadrant, you will say pi minus theta. Camping, mm, camping. I come not too much. Pi plus theta, 2 pi minus. Okay, so now I'm just going to have my s and I'm going to say, this is going to be that pi minus, and what is theta now? I got it. It's a third pi. And this, now I must think, cost. What is cost in this quadrant? It's negative. Only sin is positive. So it's negative cos a third pi. Okay, now don't forget, this is 60. That's pi over 3. That is 30, so it's pi over 6. Okay, so the 6 goes with the 3 and the 3 goes with the 6. Doesn't matter how you remember it. Okay, so I'm standing here. What is cos? Keep the negative. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that is going to be a half. And that's how you do it without a calculator. And then the final one, number i. I'm going to see if I can clean again, so then I can use my same sketch. Oh, this. Let's use the smaller one for this. Okay. The rest is staying the same for this. OK, 
Okay, let's do this one. Number I. Okay, now number I said cos 7 pi over 4. Now, again, make it a fraction that you see. It. So, if I say 7, so it's 1 and 3 quarters pi. Now, this is 1. This is 1 and a half. So, 1 and 3 quarters will be here. Okay. And now, I must, so it's again just saying 2 minus 1 and 3 quarters. You can write the pi, but it's not necessary. I'm, I'm looking for a quarter pi. That is the angle towards there. So how can I write it? I'm going to say cos. Then I'm going to say 2 pi minus a quarter. And that is going to be equal. Now, think cos. Oh, it's, it's cos is positive here. So it's positive cos a quarter pi. And now I don't have this sketch, so I can quickly do this sketch for you. Let's just make a bit of space. 45. And again, this is an isosceles triangle now. Very easy, and I want to show you again. If you later on, it will just become automatically an isosceles. So it's going to be 1, 1, square root 2, because Pythagoras theorem. This is then the 45, 45, or pi over 4. doesn't matter. And then what is cos? Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's 1 over square root. You can leave it like this, especially in this syllabus, but usually when you go further in maps, we will simplify it by rationalizing the denominator, and then we will multiply with square root 2, square root 2, so it's square root 2, 2, and that's your final. And that's how you do it.